The Friday Rub team are assembled and let me introduce you to the number one team in football, starting with the Foss Sam Newman, a 300 game champion of the Geelong Football Club and an icon of the media industry. Welcome to you, Foss. Thank you very much, Luke. And uh, if this is the B team, I want to see the A team assembled. Well, let me introduce the other I members before we get bigger as you Before move on. we rip into uh, the big issues in football, Damien Barrett, uh, speaking of big, voted uh, in the age as the 43rd most important man in media. He's had a big year, the Warrior. Welcome to you, Damo. G'day, Darcy. I reckon Hawthorne will be pretty happy about this game coming around after the week they've had. Gary Lyon is here, of course, a Melbourne Football Club legend, six-time All-Australian Victorian captain, uh, the lone wolf, we like to call him, here on Friday night. Hello, Gaz. How are you, Duke? Shared myself around this week, so I don't know how much I'll give. I'll try and lift, but I've used a lot of my good stuff this week. Already. Very nice work on the uh, rush hour, of course. Now, I'm normally not saying we... it was nice, but I've just used a lot of my good stuff. Normally the mood's lowered a bit when I introduce the next uh, person in the box, but uh, there is a massive presence presence that's uh, just casting a big shadow Aura. here because the Chief is in London and this man is universally regarded as the best player ever to play the game. The King, Wayne Carey, is here. Hello, Duck. G'day, boys. Uh, I, I actually thought Jason Dunstall was the best player that I saw, so uh, oh, a good, uh, off, good player. I, and I sit here in awe of... Uh, of, uh, well, don't you gentlemen, in, don't feel intimidated by us. We eased him in uh, a couple of weeks ago. He came in, eased him in. That was mistaken for me being in awe of Duck I had last week. They said that I, <laughs> he got a bit I of feedback to, yeah. to Duck, and I, they didn't quite understand that I was just trying to help the youngster through his first uh, big being game. Very nice, but he's back, and I'm very happy to have him. And the Duck was a little bit shocked uh, when the Foss walked in. He thought that the Foss had come from a fancy dress uh, tonight, but not sure that that is the way that the Foss rolls. And we'd like to get that uh, image out on to triplem.com.au <laughs> we'll do that to, tonight a nice is that a fuchsia coloured uh, pair of shorts the tonight? duck if that's what we're calling him is in stone coloured <laughs> denim with an overcoat on with a checked uh, pretty standard fare, hillbilly right? shirt yeah. pretty and, standard uh, <laughs> a thinning coiffure and some <laughs> riding boots I mean <laughs> you're talking about me at least let me I'm run it through colour coated you would not wear that paint in the house <laughs> that, that outfit you've got on a, a, um, a, a, a sort of a, a navy blue croc uh, <laughs> set up with short croc. black uh, socks then you're going with a mauve what Mo- I, what yeah, I call mauve, mauve? Yep. A mauve, you call it yeah, a mauve, mauve walking <laughs> short fuchsia. with a uh, fuchsia belt, lilac, lilac. a lilac oh, yeah. shirt, and a black sort of checkered vest. <laughs> That's right. That's, <laughs> that, that even sounds extraordinary. <laughs> I was going to. Uh, I was going not to call him the duck. I thought it was irreverent, but no, I'm calling him the duck from here in. <laughs> Your Friday night attire has become a highlight for all of us, and I, I think quite a sharp look about you tonight. Twitter's just blown up over the fosses get up. I'm telling you. Okay, there's about. 300 what have responses. We, what have we trained the camera on the duck? Well, the duck looks perfectly sort of reasonable. What, what, what difference am he, I wearing to he, Gaz? He just looks like a normal bloke. Well, he looks like he's wearing a large chessboard. And you look like you're wearing a Chinese checker Check, shirt. Checks for fashion, not for fashion, you reckon? <laughs> Jeff Lord, what, what time's a great man due at yodelling practice? Um, we, we got another one here. Stewie McKenzie from that shot. It's wearing Depends under the shorts. <laughs> I don't think that's right. Uh, Stewie McKenzie sent that in. <laughs> uh, Donut 05 says the Foss tribute to Damo. Purple on purple. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good look. I like it. It's just unique and it's different. You can have a look at that on Twitter or triplem.com.au. It's Sligo gear. It An Oompa Loompa. <laughs> An Oompa Loompa. <laughs> that's from Shane Sullivan. I think he's cracked it, guys. Extraordinarily uh, oh, yeah. pleasant golf gear called Sligo. I know what it is and uh, it's a nice knit, the vest. Not every day you see an elderly man wearing fuchsia. <laughs> you don't see it very often. As opposed to a night shirt like you're wearing. <laughs> <laughs> we need to get to a break.